and thank you for watching. In this video, I'm going to unbox and review Barbie Cutie Reveal Puppy. Now, I have never purchased a Barbie Reveal dolls before. I've been curious about them and been tempted, but I've never actually purchased one. But as soon as I saw these with these costumes, I thought, this is super cool. I've got to check these out. So let's take a closer look at Barbie Cutie Reveal Puppy. So here we have the box for Barbie Cutie Reveal Doll Puppy. So this box actually has a lot of things for me to show you. The first thing, obviously, is where it says, try me at the top. And as you can see, I think it's actually this really cute feature where you can actually touch the actual puppy suit inside there. And it's really nice and soft. And it's actually a cute feature on one hand, but on the other hand, I just think of all the dirty fingers touching this thing that lie in the, like on the store shelves. So I would advise trying to buy yours online if you, you know, that doesn't bother you. <laughs> just the thought just bothers me. <laughs> so anyway, this box has a lot of clues on what you get in this box. And I really appreciate the fact that Mattel was very upfront about what you get by first showing you, of course, that you're getting the puppy with this cutie reveal. Secondly, it shows you, like it says it's 10 surprises and also a pet inside. Now on the back of the box, it actually shows you the, what the surprises are to a certain degree. So it says 10 surprises and it shows you that you are going to get a doll and the costume puppy. Also, it shows you that the coat or the, the bodysuit for the puppy actually doubles as like a jacket for the doll. Also, that you get a skirt of some kind, uh, shoes, some sort of ear accessories or a headband and some sort of other accessory that comes with it, and also a pet. One of the things I did also want to show you that it says here is that you get a posable doll inside, which is super exciting, and it shows you what the articulation is going to be. Also, on the back of the box, it says Series 1, which lets us know that there might be a Series 2 coming up, but it shows you the dolls that are in this series. So of course we have the bunny here, then we have the panda, and then we also have the kitty, and of course the puppy in which we are going to open today. And I'm actually going to open it right now. So I see that they have some sort of tape here. So I'm going to just kind of use my blade and just kind of cut along where I think the it'll be effective where the tape and then there's tape on the other side here and I hope I'm cutting this right and did I yes I did yay so we're gonna remove the lid and as you can see there is the head of the puppy so I'm gonna do do a little shake a shake a shake a to get everything out. As you can see, look at the puppy, it's so cute. Oh, look at that, and it looks like there's little surprises that are dropping out of this container. So I'm just gonna put the container to the side, and let's see, so we've got four little bags that are mystery bags, so I'm gonna put these to the side for now so that we can take a look at the bunny figure. Look at that, it's so cool. And let's see, can he or she stand up? And look, the figure can actually stand on her own. Very cool. She also comes with a set of instructions, I believe. And here we have the four that are in this Barbie Cutie Reveal series. And then on the back, we have instructions for the doll. So let's take a closer look at those. So the instructions show us how the bodysuit works for the costume and also shows us that we get a doll that looks like has some sort of painted on a bathing suit underneath. It also shows us that there are the surprises inside those envelopes and again that the bodysuit will actually double as a jacket uh, or top for the doll. 
also here that the accessories can go on to the doll. Here we see that this doll features, and actually the costume both feature some sort of change when you change the temperature on this. So we will practice that and take a look at what those changes are. And it looks like, yeah, it looks like the doll will get some sort of like little uh, animal nose and appearance. And it looks like for the actual animal, the puppy, looks like we can go from closed eyes to open eyes, which sounds very interesting. Well, you can see the head actually just it was right there. And let's, let's take a closer look at the head. Very cute, but let's remove it and see what our doll looks like underneath. I'm very curious. And there she is. Now her hair is kind of <laughs> a mess here. They had to really tie it up in order to put the head on the doll, but it looks like her color activation is already kind of on her nose. I'm gonna see if I can rub it a little bit. And look, just with me heating it up a little bit, it actually did actually change the color change on her. So let's do a close up. And I know her hair is a mess, but we still wanna see that really pretty face. And I'm absolutely gaga over a doll that comes with freckles. I wonder if I rub it. Yeah, look, and then the freckles actually remove. Very cool. You can see what her hair looks like. It's very pretty color, but it is kind of a mess. So let's pull back and you can see she also has these paws on the feet and on the hands. Let's take a closer look at them. And I want to see, yeah, look at these. These are really cool. And they are flat. And look, they have the Barbie logo there, but they're flat and really large so that the doll can stand on her own. And I'm going to turn it around so that you can see how the paws actually just get are easily removed. And the doll does have flat feet. So I'm going to pull this other one off. Oh, and look at the Barbie tag that's on the costume very cool this feels like a stuffed animal like the kind of thing so it looks just like how you would think it feels and it also has the little paws let's do a close-up of the paws as well you can see very cute on one side and i'll just turn it so that you can see the other side and of course those just remove also by just pulling them off of the doll so I'm gonna turn the doll around so that you can see how the top and body suit uh, top comes on and off and it has the Velcro in the back. And as you can see, it's got the reversible material and also the doll does have a painted on uh, top as well. I'm gonna put her down just so that we can see. Actually, I'm gonna remove this other hand. I wanna see what this jacket looks like. So. This is the bodysuit for the puppy. And then you turn it inside out and it is this little heart print pattern that's kind of like the still the furry material as well. And I will pull this inside out later on. I'll just, you can probably just use the doll's arms to do that. But speaking of the doll's arms, I do want to show you the articulation for the doll. So she is articulated at the elbows, but she is not articulated at the wrist. And yeah, she's giving us the why, Demi, why, why she, why she no have articulation out of the wrist. But at least I guess she's articulated in that way. So I would appreciate that. I guess maybe it might be an issue with the paws. Maybe, I don't know, but you know, whatever. So let's pull this off. And as you can see, she's got a matching panty or bathing suit bottom and it's gonna remove this. And as you can see, this is our doll. The articulation she has at the knee as well it is not made to move, but at least it is articulated. So this is the articulation of the doll that you get with this series. So I'm gonna put her down so that we can take a closer look at the accessories that come 
with this doll. The Barbie Cutie Reveal Puppy comes with four secret envelopes where we don't know what we get. They're mystery envelopes. So let's see what we get. So this is the first one. I'm just gonna tear this open to see what we get. And this is, oh, looks like, aha! We got a little pet action figure for the doll. Well, she's actually not an action figure as there's no action, but we do get a little puppy pet for our doll. Let's see what we get in the other mystery envelopes. Let's take a look at this one. I'm just gonna tear this open and see what we get. And aha, very cool. So we have this heart-shaped comb. Very cool, because that Barbie is going to need that <laughs> that comb for that hair. But what's really cool is on the other side, you get the little sponge so that you could do the color temperature change on the doll's face and also the face of the mask as well. So you can put the cold water or warm water, depending on what you want each of them to look like. So I'm going to put this over here on the side and take a look at what's in this next envelope. So let's see what is inside this mystery envelope. And what do we get? We actually, there's a few things in here. Aha! So we get a pair of shoes and also a headband with the little puppy ears. Very cute. I'm going to put these on the side as well because I want to see what is in that next envelope. So let's see what's inside here. And, ah, we get, is there anything else? Nope, we get this skirt here, which is actually pretty. Oh no, it's actually, is it shorts? What is this? No, it is a skirt, I see. So it's got a little ruffle here on the front and then the back is the plane back here. Okay, I didn't understand it for a second. I got really confused, but it is a skirt. So let's take a closer look at some of the items that you get with Barbie Cutie Reveal Puppy. So first, obviously, we get the skirt that I showed you earlier, but we also get this pair of shoes. It's not very detailed, but it's a cute color that matches with the color palette of the doll. Also, we get this cute little puppy dog. Very just adorable. Then, of course, we also have the headband with the bent puppy ears. I'm not really crazy about the puppy ears headband. I think the number one the material looks a little cheap. And just the way they bend, I don't know. It's not as, I don't know. They could have done a little bit better in my opinion, but that's just my opinion. Also, we of course have the little heart-shaped comb like I showed you. And those are the accessories that you get in the little mystery envelopes for Barbie Cutie Reveal Puppy. So I wanted to show you the detail of the puppy mask. As you can see, it has a hole at the bottom and it also has this mesh here so that it, you can hold the hair inside, it makes it a little bit easier. And it has a little tag in there and that's how the uh, doll's head fits into the puppy mask. So I just wanted to show you that detail. So let's do a 360 of the Barbie Cutie Reveal puppy costume. So as you can see, I have the puppy figure standing on her own. There is no stand that comes with this doll and she doesn't need one. I love that she can stand on her own. And of course, because she's articulated, you can pose her any way that you would like. I'm gonna go in so that you can see the little puppy face, so cute. And of course the little blush on it, just adorable. And of course the little puppy ears and the paws. And this is the way it looks from behind. I love those paws back there. It's just so, they're so cute. Look at that. I love those feet. And of course, there's the Barbie tag here to help you know what is the front and the back of the pants when putting this on. And of course, she has her little paws. 
And that is the 360 of Barbie Cutie Reveal puppy costume. So the Barbie Cutie Reveal puppy costume is too short for the current fashion royalty body. However, it does work with the made to move Ken body, as you can see, kind of. I'm gonna just show you. It does fit him, however, it does not work with the foot paws. As you can see down here, it does not work. So I would put like maybe shoes on him, on him or maybe some socks, or you're gonna need a display stand because it's gonna be hard for him to stand on his own, but the costume itself will fit on the Made to Move Ken. Let's welcome our panel. First, we have Barbie's GBFF, Tango Ken. Next, we have fashion trendsetter and princess of Mattel, Millie Barbie. And last, but never least, actress, model, singer, Alyssa Rodriguez. So before we speak to our panel, let's do a 360 of Barbie Cutie Reveal Puppy, the doll. So this is what the Barbie Cutie Reveal Puppy doll actually looks like with her outfit on. As you can see, she's got a lot of hair and it's, it's kind of messy, but like I said, you kind of have to tie it up and wind it up in order to get it under that mask. Let's take a closer look at her. And she is very pretty. She's got those puppy ears. I know they match the color of the puppy, but they're kind of, I don't know. That I don't know. They look a little cheap, but you know, hey, it's for the kids, right? Right? So anyway, this is what the coat looks like when it's a coat. It actually is the bodysuit for the puppy figure. But look at the cut on the skirt. The cut on the skirt is actually really cute. And I'm going to go down so you can see the purple shoes. And also the display stand here does not come with the doll. This is just one from my collection. But look at that skirt there. I love the way that cut is. I also wanted to point out that the knees are articulated knees, but they are not made to move knees. Also, get over here. I just want you to see the texture of the coat as well. And it is kind of like that teddy bear feeling as well. And of course, she's got the little puppy dog figure there in her hands. And that is the 360 of Barbie Cutie Reveal Puppy. So from what I can see, the cold temperature will activate the face mask on the doll and also make the pet appear to be awake. So I think I'm going to try that first. So I have my little Barbie comb here and has the little sponge. So I am actually going to dip it in some ice cold water that I have just below and see if we can do some of the temperature variation on the doll. So first, I'm gonna start with the doll first. And as you can see, we are getting the little nose thing. I thought she might have like some whiskers or something, but no, it looks like it's just a nose thing. So she gets the little like animal nose and it looks like it's a little heart shape. So that's cute, but eh, not for me. But remember, the puppy pet also has a feature also with temperature. So I'm going to try the cold first. And I don't think the cold is really going to do anything because I think the cold is supposed to make the eyes open. So let's see. And yeah, it does not do anything for the pet with the eyes open. So let's try heat. Okay, let's see what happens when I apply the warm water. And look, it just disappears and she's back to her normal pretty self. Aww. 
So let's see what happens with the pet when you try the warm water on the pet. And look, aha, look, he has gone, well, let me take some of the water out <laughs> so that you can see, look, he goes right to sleep. How adorable is that? And that's how both of them look with the warm temperature. So panel, I would like to get your thoughts on Barbie Cutie Reveal Puppy. So Tango, I'm going to start with you and it looks like you have the costume head and also a note in your jacket. I guess you didn't want to mess up your posing. So let's see what you have to say. I thought the costume was a gray rabbit, not a puppy. Tango, you look like you're overwhelmed. <laughs> and Barbie, what are your thoughts on Barbie Cutie Reveal Puppy? And you have a note for me. And you say... Barbie infuses fashion, fun, and innovation with this adorable set. I must say, I agree with you, Barbie. And Alyssa, what are your thoughts on Barbie Cutie Reveal Puppy? And you have a note for me too. And you say, the costume doesn't fit me, so I don't care. <laughs> well, it looks like the queen has spoken. <laughs> well, thank you, panel. I am a fan of Barbie Cutie Reveal Puppy. I think you get a cute doll. The hair is a little bit cheap, but of course it's being tied up and put into the costume. So I guess to, in, to a certain degree, it doesn't really matter. But speaking of the costume, I think the costume is so cool and so innovative. It's such a win. I'm so excited about this line. So win, 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 win. So if you like this video, and I hope that you did, then please make sure that you click the like button. That's how I know that you like my videos. Also, if you have not yet subscribed, then please make sure that you do. There's a little subscribe button somewhere down there. And when you click that button, you get notified of when I come up with new videos like this one. So thanks again for watching, and I hope you have a great day.